Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and I took the bottles away this time. I figured I might uh, get, people might be like, dude, what? I empty bottles. You didn't even clean them out. And I was like, yeah, I know. So I put them over here <laughs> to get them out of the frame. Um, but anyway, so today we're going to talk about a couple little quick things. One big shout out to Eddie's Clubhouse uh, for actually including us this week on their Eddie's Clubhouse issue number 10. So I'll put a link to Eddie's Clubhouse on Twitter down below. If you're not following, you should, because every Friday leading up to the movie, they've been answering fan questions. Uh, and this is pretty cool. And so I just randomly put out a comment uh, like a week ago and I said uh, before their last one uh, and I said, hey, um, you know, I just bought my movie tickets and they look really tasty. I think I'm going to eat them. And as you guys know from the show, when I, sometimes when I do toy reviews, I eat the boxes of the toys. And uh, and so uh, they wrote me back and they said, oh, we'd watch a vlog of, of you eating those tickets. So I was like, you know what? That's pretty good. I'll send the message out to the Venom vlog parasites out there. Uh, if you guys want to, when the movie comes out, if you want to take a picture with your ticket stub, it, like it, you eating it, you can pretend you're eating it. Obviously, if you don't want to actually try to digest paper, uh, that's fine. I totally understand. Uh, but if you want to make a quick video or just take take a picture of you eating your ticket stub, uh, definitely send it to me. Tag me on uh, social media. I'm on Twitter at Venom Vlog and I'm on Instagram at Seek and Destroy. And those links are always down below. So if you're not following me, please follow me over there on those two social media platforms and tag me. Use the hashtag Venom Vlog if you want. Uh, tag me, tag Eddie's Clubhouse, whatever. Uh, but I thought this would be a fun thing and maybe I could do a compilation video uh, with all of your guys, uh, you know, responses to it. Uh, so when the movie comes out opening weekend, maybe we'll do a special video where it's just, you know, like me talking about something and then I'll have like your images popping up uh, from you eating your movie ticket stubs. I don't know. I thought it'd be fun uh, kind of keeping in the spirit of the show in a way where I've eaten things before, especially paper and cardboard. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'm not anticipating too many responses because like I said, we're still growing on this channel. And anytime I try to put something out there to get people involved, it doesn't always work out. So I understand uh, if this one doesn't either, but I want to try. I never want to stop trying to come up with things to do that might involve you guys and, and and get you on the show somehow. So uh, that's one of the ways. So uh, it, like, let me know, tag me in a photo of you eating your ticket stub. Uh, but with that aside, you know, we also had some TV spots, which I'm not going to talk too much about. I don't think, I think two of them came out. One of them I watched just kind of like accidentally, I was going through Instagram and it just played and I was like, eh, all right, I'm already here. Uh, but the other one I was able to avoid. Uh, so there was a couple TV spots that came out there. And again, I know they're not going to like give away too, too much in these TV spots, but I still want to, you know, be careful of what I see because I just like seeing some new things. When I go see a movie, I like to be surprised. I want to see something go like, oh, I didn't see that in a trailer. And I mean, it, and that's already going to be hard enough for me because for, you know, over th almost 300 episodes now, we've been following this movie. And I would say a good chunk of those, maybe like a half of them even, are dedicated just to the movie, not even about the comic books. And so we've seen set photos, we've seen set videos, we've seen a ton of stuff. So it's already going to be hard enough for me to be surprised. But luckily, and the way I rationalize it, is all those were early cut stuff. Those were pre, you know, CGI, pre, you know, visual effects and everything, and uh, pre, you know, cleaning up the shots. So, uh, so to me, they're not super spoilery. It's nice to have a comparison of what it used to look like uh, you know, compared to the final product. But now that there's creatures being added and, and monsters and fight scenes and everything, there's some things I just generally, uh, genuinely want to be surprised when I see. Uh, so yeah, so forgive me for not talking about too much, but I also know some of you guys are actively avoiding TV spots and spoilers. So that's why I'm trying really hard on here to not cover a lot of that stuff so that you guys can still watch the show. Uh, but be careful of the comments down below because people might put spoilers down there. So I will warn you about that. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is Tom Hardy in Moscow. Uh, he went to Moscow this week to show Venom, which over there is called Behum. And, uh, and that's the title of the movie that they released in Russia. That's how you say it in Russian. And, uh, and he sat with an audience. They all had those little masks. They gave everyone the masks. And uh, he gave like a little like speech at the beginning. He sat down, got, got a couple pictures with the audience. Not everyone in the audience was wearing the mask, which I was like, oh, that would have been perfect. But there was a couple people, of course, that were like, Oh, I want to smile and look at Tom Hardy and show my face. And it's like, uh, come on, put the mask on. <laughs> like that's the whole point of it is, is so you guys can all be included like that. Um, but, uh, you know, whatever you every once in a while, you get people that go against the, the, the rules and the grain and they don't just, they just don't know how to have fun, I guess. Um, but when I saw that picture, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then he w actually said, there was like a little speech he gave where he said, Hey, you know, give us feedback, let us know what you think. 
of the movie after you see it. Tell us what you know or what you're thinking of it, what your thoughts are. Um, but I don't think they were allowed to share anything on social media. So that's why we haven't seen too much uh, coming from that uh, screening. And it was a completed film. Some people were asking me, hey, is it, uh, was it like, you know, not fully done? Are they still working on it? Well, if you go to IMDb, it actually says that the film itself has been completed. It is no longer in post-production. It is 100% completed, apparently. And I'm sure there's still a couple things they might work out or tweak, you know, if they can. Uh, but for the most part, I think this movie is done. It's ready to go. And it's coming out, you know, in some uh, countries around the world in like 10 days. And then the rest of us will get it in like 11, 12, 13. They're going to slowly roll it out over the course of a few days around the world. Uh, and then I think there are other territories that will get it later on um, after the, you know, the main release. So we'll see. Uh, I'll keep an eye on that. I'll keep an eye on box office, all that stuff for you guys. But I just want to share some of these images here and uh, and say that uh, that looked like a fun event. And if I was there, I totally would have rocked the mask. I wouldn't have uh, showed my stupid face, you know, smiling. I would have had that mask on, uh, to, you know, to be part of that picture because uh, it looked really cool. And I remember when they did that in Brazil and they had that black sheet roll out over the whole audience and the audience was like moving up and down, in, you know, under the black sheet and it made it look like, you know, ripple effects, like symbiote-like. And I was like, wow, that was really cool too from a marketing standpoint and a visual standpoint. That was pretty neat to do. Um, so this audience, they didn't drape them in, you know, in a big giant blanket, uh, but they did give them those cool masks that we saw, I think, at Comic-Con as well, and they took pictures of the audience with them at Comic-Con. So that's all the news that I have this week. Um, I think for the weekend, I'm going to chill out. I think hopefully that's everything. I, uh, this is like the 13th or so, maybe 12th or 13th episode that we posted this week about the Venom vlog, so we've caught up big time. I thought it was going to be around issue, you know, episode 280 for when we did the movie review, but it looks like it's going to be around uh, episode 300 uh, because I imagine a lot more movie news is going to come out over the next two weeks. So so I'll do my best to cover them for you guys and maybe even cram some of them like three or four stories into one episode like we did with this one to, uh, you know, so that way I can catch up and I can keep up with everything. So you guys let me know what everything I talked about today. Let me know what you think down below and let me know if you will uh, or want to take a picture of yourself eating your ticket stub. I think that would be fun and I think that's pretty, you know, light in keeping with the Venom tone and then also keeping with the show. So let me know if you guys want to do that as well and hopefully you will so I can make a video about it. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.